It's said the last invention humanity will ever invent is artificial superintelligence, or ACI. The benefits of ACI are science fiction-like in their implications. An ACI would be an inexhaustible, hyper-intelligent super being with the ability to process and analyze data in ways we can't comprehend yet. If you're wondering how to join the waitlist for ACI access, artificial superintelligence isn't here just yet. It's a hypothetical software-based AI system more advanced than any human. Let's look at ACI. Is it possible? What benefits might it bring? And what are the potential risks? I can't think of any obvious drawbacks of an AI more advanced than every human alive. I'm sure it'll be fine. To illustrate how far off ACI is, the current level of AI is Artificial Narrow Intelligence, or ANI. This is where we are today. Narrow AI excels at specific tasks like playing chess or translating languages, but it cannot learn new skills or develop a deep understanding of the world. It relies on pre-programmed algorithms and data requiring human intervention. So that's where we are now. The next immediate frontier is Artificial General Intelligence, AGI. AGI can understand the world, learn, and apply problem-solving intelligence as broadly and flexibly as humans can. AGI will be capable of cross-domain learning and reasoning, making connections across different fields. True AGI is not here yet, but it is the stated goal of many leading AI organizations today. If AGI matches human experts across all cognitive tasks, ACI goes further, exceeding those expert human capabilities. Is ACI possible? That's a very good question. Not all thinkers are aligned on the feasibility of ACI. Human brains are incredibly complex, capable of remarkable creativity, problem solving and critical thinking. For ACI to be feasible, we'll need far more advanced learning algorithms. They'll need to be inspired by how the human brain learns to enable AI to improve its performance over time. This continual learning will allow AI to acquire knowledge and adapt to new situations without explicit programming. Today, we have precursors to ACI, like generative AI, demonstrating increasing sophistication in understanding and responding to human language. This ability to understand and respond to human language naturally is an important building block for human-level intelligence, a sophistication once thought decades away. Assuming ACI might happen one day, let's discuss its building blocks. How can we build ACI? This is speculation, but some building blocks are here today. For example, we have large language models. ACI would require massive datasets to learn and understand the world. Natural language processing in large language models will help ACI understand natural language and converse with humans. Another building block is multisensory AI, enabling ACI to process and interpret multiple types of data inputs. Text, images, audio, video and more to perform tasks and make decisions. We're seeing big advancements in multimodal AI models today. The neural network for ACI would need to be far more complex and powerful than today's systems, requiring other advances as well. Just as neural networks are modeled on human brain operation, we might need neuromorphic computing. Neuromorphic computing systems are inspired by the neural and syntactic structures of a human brain. Alongside that, Evolutionary computing may also form a part of ACI. Evolutionary computing is a form of algorithmic optimization inspired by biological evolution. Evolutionary algorithms solve problems by iteratively optimizing candidate solutions, mimicking natural selection. All these building blocks will be important for ACI, and there are likely many other advances we haven't considered yet. Let's wrap this up with the benefits and risk analysis for ACI. In the benefits column, 
ACI decision-making will enable optimal decisions and solve complex problems in healthcare, finance, scientific research, politics, and every industry. ASI's advanced thinking could solve persistent medical puzzles, develop life-saving treatments, unlock physics mysteries, and aid humanity's goal of exploring the stars. Moving to error reduction, ACI could significantly reduce human errors, particularly in programming and risk management. It could write and debug programs and deploy robots for dangerous tasks like bomb diffusing or deep sea exploration. We should also consider creativity. ASI's superior creativity and ability to analyze vast data might lead to unimaginable solutions, hopefully resulting in a better and prolonged quality of life. This sounds awesome, but we should take a balanced view of ACI by considering the risks. One tiny risk is existential. ACI could surpass human control and become self-aware, leading to unforeseen circumstances. Its superior cognitive abilities could allow it to manipulate systems or gain control of automated weapons. That would be bad. Another risk is automation. Automation through ACI could lead to widespread unemployment, causing economic and social turmoil, exacerbating inequalities and disrupting industries. Ethics also come into play. Programming ACI with human ethics is complex, as there's no universally agreed upon moral code. This could lead to ethical dilemmas and harmful consequences, especially if ACI operates outside human control. An ACI could pursue goals detrimental to humanity, even if they seem beneficial. Without proper interventions, its advanced systems might not align with our human values. There's a lot that could go wrong here. This is ACI. Its potential impact is immense, revolutionizing various aspects of human life. AI researchers, computer scientists, and world governments must carefully consider ASI's benefits and risks to ensure this transformative technology is used responsibly and ethically for humanity's betterment. Assuming, of course, ACI ever arrives at all. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Share your thoughts about this topic 